From the moment it hit the market back in 1998, this little blue pill perked up the lives of millions. In 1989, sildenafil, a drug that selectively targets and powerfully inhibits the enzyme phosphodiesterase, is first synthesized and tested in Pfizer's UK laboratories. In 1991, the first trial of sildenafil for coronary heart disease shows it is ineffective but, penile erection is noticed as a side effect. In 1998, Pivotal Phase 3 trial of sildenafil for erectile dysfunction is published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Viagra, the brand of Pfizer was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, in March 1998. and the European Medicines Agency EMA, also introduced Viagra, a product of Pfizer, in Europe, on September 1998 as the first oral treatment for men with erectile dysfunction. This is the age of taking action, Viagra. Talk to your doctor. Viagra single packs. So guys with ED can take Viagra when they need it. By 1996, it was already well known, that Pfizer was completing clinical studies that would allow it, to launch Viagra in the United States. Interest in Viagra was so keen, that the drug received intense media coverage even before Pfizer obtained, a US trademark registration for the name. Pfizer filed its US trade application for Viagra, in the United States Patent and Trademark Office and got registration on June 2, 1998. By 1996, Pfizer decided that China would be an important market for the drug for getting trademark rights, because China has long been seen the land of copycats and counterfeit. Pfizer filed a trademark application for the English language name Viagra with the China Trademark Office, CTMO, on October 24, 1996. That was a major mistake made by the Pfizer in getting trademark of product in China. Pfizer actually failed to realize that because of the US media coverage of the launch of Viagra, in the mid to late 1990s, the Chinese media would not use the word Viagra. Chinese media and consumers, will always use a Chinese transliteration of an English trademark, rather than the English word itself as per their culture. Chinese media and Chinese consumers gave Viagra a Chinese name, Waj, which was a transliteration of the English word. This transliteration, even occurred before Pfizer attempted to register, a Chinese trademark for Viagra in China. Wyge posed a complex problem for Pfizer because it was much more successful than Wan Ike, the Chinese name that Pfizer eventually chose after this incident. Wyge, which can be translated as great older brother, was an immediate hit not just in China but in the entire Chinese-speaking world. When Pfizer realized that Wyge had become so popular in the Chinese-speaking world, they moved quickly to obtain trademark registrations for the trademark in China, Taiwan, and Hong Kong. Pfizer eventually obtained trademark registrations for Wyge in Hong Kong and in Taiwan. But in China, Pfizer was faced with many prior competing applications. One month after Pfizer launch of Viagra in United States in April 1998, 
several Chinese companies filed trademark registrations for Wige with the China Trademark Office. Viaman filed the first application for Wige on May 20, 1998. While Pfizer applied for Wige trademark in China on August 12, 1998. The United States follows a first-to-use system for trademarks, while most of the other countries including China follow a first-to-file system. Under China first-to-file system, Viaman's application was deemed by CTMO to be first in time and awarded the Wige trademark to Viaman on June 21, 2002 over Pfizer's protestations. Pfizer being aggrieved from decision of CTMO, filed an objection in the Trademark Review and Appeal Board within 15 days of the decision as per rules and regulation. But the Trademark Review and Appeals Board also affirmed the CTMO's decision. In October 2005, Pfizer launched a second challenge in the Beijing First Intermediate People's Court, on the theory that it owned the rights to the Wige trademark in China. In January 2007, the Beijing court rejected Pfizer's claim that, it owned the famous trademark Wige and in July 2009, Pfizer lost its final appeal on this issue in the Supreme People's Court. During the span of this legal battle of trademark rights between China and Pfizer, the winner or beneficials were the counterfeiters and pirates who take over the market of Viagra. Soon after Wige became widely known in China, counterfeiters began to sell unauthorized versions of aphrodisiacs, under the Wige label, all over China. Some counterfeits contain some sildenafil, the active ingredient in Viagra, while others contain traditional Chinese herbal medicines or no useful ingredients at all. Pfizer was not the registered trademark owner of Wage and could not enforce trademark rights against counterfeiters. The registered trademark owner, Viaman, was engaged in a protracted legal battle with Pfizer, over the trademark and may have been too distracted to pursue the counterfeiters. The enforcement of trademark rights against counterfeiters in China requires considerable resources to hire, private investigation companies and law firms. Multinational companies must understand that China is a country where tradition, history and culture have a stronger hold and influence than many other countries. Do not expose or advertise your ideas and inventions in the market unless you complete all legal procedures and documentations. The information in this video, has been taken from Maryland Journal of International Law, from topic, lessons from Pfizer's disputes over its Viagra trademark in China.